Hey y'all, do you have a problem on your Dodge Caliber or Jeep Compass or Patriot where you have your parking brake disengaged, yet the parking brake light on the dashboard stays on? Let me show you how to fix that. As you can see, it's a pretty hot and humid day today. Not an enjoyable day to be working on the car. Sorry for the noise, neighbors are getting the yard cut. The first thing you have to do is disconnect the negative terminal on your battery because we're going to be messing with the electrical system of the car. Since we're going to be messing with the parking brake, um, make sure that you chalk your wheels so that the car doesn't roll, especially if you have a manual transmission. Always be safe about this kind of stuff, guys. So the deal is there's a little switch on the side of the parking brake lever that uh, tells the computer when the parking brake is enabled. And that switch is obviously failing in my car and yours too if you're uh, watching this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this console to get at that switch. We're gonna see what's up, see if the switch can be fixed. And if not, perhaps we can by bypass it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is empty out your center console because we need to get to the bottom down here. If we remove the rubber mat at the bottom, you're going to see two screws down here. Phillips head, remove those. With those four screws removed, you should now be able to lift up on the back of this and pull the console backwards and it'll start to come loose. But don't yank on it yet because we have a few electrical connections up front to remove. Let's take care of that. As you can see, we've got the console pulled backwards a little bit. You can see the clips that hold it in the front. Now, yank up on your parking brake good and hard because you need to get it as vertical as possible for the next step. Once you've got that parking brake up as high as it'll go, simply lift the console forward and the parking brake should clear. And now, if you look down here, we have an electrical connector. Simply push in the white tab that's here and separate the two halves. Not sure if I can do this with one hand. I'll be right back. And we've got it disconnected. There's simply a little push tab here. Can you see that? And you just push that down and then pull it out from the other side. All right, let's see what's going on with this uh, parking brake. So this is the parking brake switch. Allow me to explain how it works. We have a wire coming in from the car's computer. It connects here. This connection goes all the way around here to this contact point here. And we have a second half of the switch. It starts here with this lever, contact point here, and ends here where it bolts the body of the car. This is a ground, so this is where the ground for the switch comes from. And the, the idea is that when the parking brake is on, this wire coming from the computer connects to ground, and the computer knows by that that the, that the parking brake is on and turns the light on on the dashboard. So we pull the parking brake handle up, and this is the status of the switch when the handle is up. <clears throat> when you lower the handle down, it pushes down on this lever here. It breaks the connection between this half of the switch and this half of the switch. So we no longer have a ground uh, for this wire going coming from the computer. So when the parking brake is off, we don't have a completed circuit, and therefore the light on your dashboard goes off. So the reason the light on my dashboard is staying on is because over time this part of the lever has um, pushed, been pushed down so it no longer sticks up this high. So when the handle comes down to press it down, it's not able to put enough pressure on it to break this contact here. So the fix for my switch is very simple. I'm simply going to take this part of the lever and bend it back up so when the handle comes down it contacts it sooner and pushes it down farther and it will break the connection here. <clears throat> While I'm at it, I'm also going to use some fine grit sandpaper to clean the contact points here, the spade terminal here, and the connection here. Make sure those are all clean so we don't have any issues with corrosion over time. So let me go take care of that and uh, we'll get this back in the car and we'll see if it fixes it. All right, so I removed the uh, oil that I found that was in this area here where the, where the screw goes. I've cleaned up the contacts with some fine grit sandpaper. So let's put this back in the car and see if that fixes it. Okay, so this is the base 
of your parking brake right here. Here's where the switch goes. It's held in with one 8 millimeter bolt and there's a plastic locator pin. Um, there's a hole, corresponding hole in the, in the base here for the pin. So just, you know, tighten that in. Don't over tighten it because you don't want to crack the plastic. And you have your electrical connection right here that attaches to that spade connection. Alright, so I've got this back together. Um, let's see if I can show you how this works. When I lower the parking brake lever, you can see it pushes down on that one contact here. And it separates it from the other one that goes to the computer. And when I pull it back up, it brings the two contact points back together. And that grounds out the wire and that tells the computer that the parking brake is on. So now that I've got this back together, let's uh, give it a shot and see if it works, if it fixed it. All right, let's see how we did. Parking brake is on. Brake light is on. Parking brake off. Brake light is off. On, off, on. Excellent. So that's, you know, the problem was very simple. That was that that one contact on the switch had been bent down over time, and all we needed to do was bend it back up so that the parking brake itself could make good contact with it. And that, uh, that fixed our problem. Very simple circuit, very simple switch, very simple solution. So hopefully um, this has helped you. If it has, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and have a good day.